Uh, Shock Monkey Radio is created by adults for adults for entertainment purposes. The views and opinions expressed here do not reflect the sponsors or FXPG Public Radio. For additional information, refer to the U.S. Bill of Rights. Stand warned. Anyway, let's go on to this uh, weird, weird story. Uh, airline brawl caught on video shocks passengers. Alleged racial slur is used. A wild brawl erupted on a Frontier Airlines flight from Philadelphia this week after one passenger reportedly complained that another was taking too long to remove his luggage from the overhead bins. The incident unfolded around 9.30 p.m. on Sunday as passengers were disembarking the plane at Miami International Airport. Quote, you could see the white man on top of a black passenger just beating him between the seats. The flight attendant got involved and everyone just was just involved. You're yeah, in, in that sh close quarters, you know, you can't help but get involved. Uh, Kiara Pierre, Pierre Louis, a witness who goes by the, I'm not going to promote her for herself. She's a hip hop artist. And a, Louis uh, told WPLG that one passenger on the plane took issue with how long and another in front of him was taking to remove his bags. Before that passenger turned around, used the racial, uh, ra racial slur and punched him. Her account cannot be independently verified. So no one else is saying that a racial slur was used. Video of the incident posted on Millie Miami's Instagram page, which contains graphic language, shows two men fighting with each other as voices come over the plane's loudspeaker, urging them to break it up and for others to get the cops. <laughs> as a child can be heard crying, the white passenger appears to be telling the black passenger to repeatedly, don't talk shit. It's just, don't talk shit. The white passenger is then led away as other passengers start shouting, uh, shouting towards the front of the plane. Quote, you're all adults. Get out of the plane, one man says. What the hell, was, what the hell is that shit? Go. Don't look back. Look forward. Move out. <laughs> uh, I got kids back here, man. What the hell is wrong with you guys, he adds. The footage ends with passengers walking off the plane. Miami-Dade police told WPLG that black that the black passenger involved in the brawl decided not to press charges. We'll come back to that. In a statement, Frontier Airlines told Fox News that as a flight from Philadelphia to Miami was de uh, deplaning in uh, Miami International Airport, a physical altercation broke out between passengers who were to uh, towards the back of the aircraft. Quote, the flight crew requested law enforcement assistance. All passengers involved were, remained to, uh, were asked to remain in the, on the aircraft However, some disregarded the flight crew's instructions, the statement added. Ultimately, local law enforcement became involved. Frontier did not respond when asked by Fox News if a racial slur had been used. All right, so based upon this, just this article alone, it seems like someone is contending, this Millie Miami person, is contending that a racial slur was used, but I doubt it, just because it was white man on black man violence. And so I don't think that that happened, but uh, uh, let's, let's say it did. Let's say it did happen. The, the black guy who was beat upon, uh, chose not to press charges. Now there are many reasons <laughs> why someone would choose not to press charges in that kind of situation. When somebody punches you in the face, one, he could just be a man. He just couldn't be an adult human being male who would say, Hey, I got punched in the face. Sometimes you get punched in the face. All right. Two, uh, he decided not to press charges because he has outstanding warrants. <laughs> he didn't want anyone running his name <laughs> and getting arrested himself. Three, he could have realized that he was antagonizing this passenger. Like as soon as like, hey, man, can you hurry up? And then all of a sudden you start slowing down deliberately. I think that that is quite possible. And... Uh, I, I think that could have happened, and so he slowed down deliberately, and finally the guy just snapped and, like, beat him in the face. Or four, four, <laughs> the most reasonable explanation of why this guy decided not, to be, not, decided not to press charges is, I don't know about you, but I would rather get punched in the face than have to go to court. Now, that's just me. <laughs> I don't have any outstanding warrants or anything like that, but going to court is a pain in the ass. And if you decide to press charges, you're going to have to go to court. Especially when it's like an assault charge. All right. <laughs> so I don't know about you. I would be a man and just take your licks and move on. 
You're in Miami after all. 